Well, good Monday morning. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Concho Valley This Morning Update. A yearly holiday tradition was underway Sunday in the Concho Valley. The Wells Fargo Pavilion was packed for HEB's 22nd annual Feast of Sharing. Thousands of residents came out for this year's feast and events, with hundreds of volunteers helping serve meals. Classic holiday favorites were served like turkey, mashed potatoes, and pumpkin pie. There was even live music and other entertainment, plus several family-friendly activities. The HEB Pharmacy team also provided free flu shots and many other resources were available as well. Well, early voting totals are in. More than 24,000 voters cast early ballots in Tom Green County this midterm election. The $146 million San Angelo school bond propositions are attracting the most of the voters' attention. The first bond election this year in May failed by just two votes. However, this newer bond proposal will include two separate propositions. San Angelo voters will have the choice of voting for either Prop A or B, both or neither at all. Election day is tomorrow, November 6. And dedicated runners brave the brisk morning weather Saturday for a special fun run honoring our military and giving back to local children in need. It was all for the second annual Veterans Day fun run at the Red Arroyo Trail Park, hosted by the Qantas Club of San Angelo. This is just one of several fundraisers led by the club that raises funds for local organizations benefiting Concho Valley children. Now let's see what's happening in weather with Taban Sharifi. Taban, another chilly start, but are things starting to warm up today? It will be a warmer day, especially compared to yesterday. Today's high temperature reaching the 80s, 83 degrees. We're also seeing breezy winds, southwesterly winds to 20 miles per hour, gusts to 30 for the morning, but they will slowly start to decrease as we head into this afternoon and especially as we head into this evening. Tonight's low temperature, 53 degrees with mostly clear skies. Those winds will now be out of the southwest to 10 miles per hour. And as we head into tomorrow, seeing a little bit more of a warm up, 85 degrees, plenty of sunshine. Southwesterly winds to 10 miles per hour, and taking a look at that seven day forecast, that little bit of a warm up going into election day, and then we'll see temperatures slowly start to make their way back down into the 60s. And we're also looking at rain chances being introduced back into the forecast come Thursday.